Today we're going to show you my DIY kayak crate. I don't have a video, of, I'm not going to post a video of me actually putting it together. This video is just going to be the features I put online and so you have ideas maybe a little bit, mine has a few ideas a little bit different than other people's that you don't see a lot. So hopefully you'll see some people some ideas, maybe they want to use some of these ideas too. First off, like everybody else's crate, used a bungee cord to keep mine shut. But the big difference between mine and everybody else's is my bungee cord, I did not cut the end of it. Well, I cut the end down here, but I didn't cut it real short up here at the knot, like most people do. I like this bungee right here. If I'm fishing and I got what I need, I put it back, and so that I'm gonna reach way back here in my kayak to shut this, I'm just pulling that and it slams shut just like that. And then I can just shut this and it works just fine. I gotta turn it a little sideways because I, but it works just fine. It does not get in my way. And if for some reason it would get in my way, I can tuck it in on top or just tuck it out this back thing. And it's not a big deal. I like having that extra cord there. It lets me shut it easier and stuff. Next feature I use on my kayak crate is one you don't see very often. These are pool noodles. These are not attached yet. This whole thing is pretty much temporarily put together. Everything's going to be permanently attached. When I, if I figure it out for sure, I like it. But I've had this out twice now, and I like the way this works. But pool noodle here and pool noodle on the back. These pool noodles are for hooks. If I'm fishing and I need to keep a hook up there for some reason, maybe... I already put my tackle box back and I forgot one or crankbait or any kind of bait. Like this one's already set up to fish. Texas rig. Well, I got to put it back on, but you see the idea. And I throw this a lot. I can put one on my pole and set up another one. So if I get a snag or a break, all I got to do is reach back, pull this one off. And I store, usually when I'm fishing, I have two or three different hooks or setups or baits hooked into them. And they don't have to worry about poking them because the hooks are down in the pool noodle. Really efficient. Really like that idea. The inside of my milk crate, I got a small bungee cord that goes across that holds these pretty tightly in place. I got three 3600 Plano tackle boxes in here. This one's actually a yum one. Has all my yum crawlers. This one actually has things to set up my crappie rigs, all my crappie rigs, double crappie rigs, single crappie rigs, live minnow rig with the crappie jig on top and so on. And then this one's just extra tackle because I actually have tackle boxes on my kayak in the side so I don't have to keep much other than baits in here. My terminal tackles all kept for the most part inside the Stealth Pro boxes that come with the Stealth Pro on the side. And then I keep this in here. This is all my crappie. It's a binder bait binder with all my crappie jigs in it okay this is my bait binder with all my crappie jigs in it just little ziploc bags hooked to a thing and all my well not all of them but the ones i use the most is in here and then it just zips up and on the top here when i'm fishing i usually have my anchor setting up here and last feature, or not last feature, I, I almost forgot before we go to the GoPro mount. On the bottom, I cut a pool noodle in half and took the two halves and placed it on the bottom. They are zip tied on there pretty well. The whole idea of this is it's not going to beat, the plastic's not going to beat and bang on the bottom of my kayak and make more noise to scare off fish. The less noise you can make in the kayak, the more stealthy you are, and that's the point of a kayak. Be stealthy, get in the shallow water. This does not, even if it bounces around, I mean, it's going to rattle the stuff inside, it's going to rattle, but it's going to make a lot less noise on the kayak. It's not rubbing plastic versus plastic. Really good idea. Anybody wants to try that. Cuts down your noise, and honestly, this thing does not slide. It slides a lot harder. It's a whole lot harder to slide this thing with the pull noodles on the bottom than what it is, just plastic on plastic. Last feature, actually, is I got a rod holder here, which is temporarily placed on with zip ties. It will be more securely placed on later. This will be eventually used probably for my fishing net, but right now uh, it has my DIY 
kayak GoPro mount. This GoPro mount. This GoPro mount is a selfie stick made for Go GoPro. And inside it, see it right there is the selfie stick, but on the other side taped to that is actually a piece of a golf club handle or a golf club shaft. It runs from there to there. It actually makes it a lot more sturdier than on top since it's already made for GoPro. You just use the common GoPro mounts and it works just fine. And right now I got it fit to where it will go in this thing and eventually it's going to be just stuck on the side here and that will be used probably for my fishing net or an extra rod. That's about it. I hope you guys see ideas you like about my milk crate and maybe use it. If you notice in the video, the one thing I still got to do is sand this down a little bit. I ain't got to that part yet. I should have done it before I attached it, but it, I didn't have a sander handy, so I just went ahead and attached it to get it together to try to see how I like this. I've took it out twice, and I like the way this is set up, so I think now it's time to do the finishing touches. But like and subscribe to my channel. The more like views and likes and subscribes I get, the more videos I try to do. Thank you and have a good day.